Okay, this is this is an Occupy Maine kind of thing. As far as Occupy Maine, I do Occupy Maine. As far as what is it, a National Geographic project was uh, for uh, a mathematician said basically if we got all humans together, um, how much space would they take up in in, in reality? This is Bangor, uh, part of part of Maine. That's a tree, I think. Looks like a tree. Could be could be a simulacra. I, I was with this guy who's going to be dominant in the Masons, Tom Sawyer, strange name, uh, who is, um, he's got an artificial house, Stephen King's wife, no, her, his, arch his wife is an architect, designs Tabitha King's, like, rather POS house, it's really not a good, if I had a big and trillion amount of money, I'd have a house that would be really provocative, uh, provo agent provocateur, what a, hey, yeah, provocative, anyway, you get everybody on the planet to occupy Maine, how about, Get everybody on the plan to occupy Russia. Then get everybody to occupy China. Just get people to occupy places for a while. Housing might be a problem. I mean, you'd have to have uh, 10 cities. Maybe you'd have to have a plenty of food. But tell people, okay, for a month we're going to occupy Russia. So bring along, say, what you need for necessities. Like, you know, you, you need one of those, um, what uh, Associated Press says, the best way to, to get away from those spy planes based on uh, Al-Qaeda's um, uh, gathering information is a uh, mylar sheet because you're infrared invisible and uh, reflective and uh, they all say hide under trees and sit. But anyway, that, that'll, that'll keep you warm if it's... I mean, occupy places on the planet when it's warm to occupy them. Like occupy Alaska during the summer. But if all the humans on the planet could get onto Rhode Island, then they can easily go get onto Russia or China or Maine or any damn near any other country. Occupy the Vatican. It's pretty friggin' small. But occupy Italy? I don't know. Occupy Maine, it's a good idea. Where is it? I don't know. It would be interesting if more people decide to occupy Maine. Oh yeah, there's a lot of pigeons around here. Somebody told me they got they imported hawks to kill them, but I said what's gonna what's gonna like make the hawks stay? Because they'd fly off. But there are a few less of them. And they say they don't want him to be fed, which is like, why the frig not, man? Look at that poor guy. He's got like his feathers sticking out, molting maybe. I saw one poor dude. He had like, he was missing one foot. And and his other foot, he had a gob of chewing gum on it. That's That's got to be a tough life. You got, now look at the design of that thing. He's got like two legs. He's got like a beak. It's you know he's it's he can't he can't get his mouth down to his feet to get chewing gum off his feet. He can't get his feet up to his mouth. That's not a re he's great for flying, but you know we gotta bioengineer these little bastards. I ran into Chris today, and he's got some information on bioengineering. I got my book on genetics. Genetics for beginners. Introducing genetics. So anyway, yeah, two good movies. Uh, Splice. Uh, that's for another job. Next links and the ruins. So who knows? Occupy Maine. Why not?